welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am so excited for this video. I have, haven't have done a home haul in at least a year. I don't know if I did one last year for when I first got my apartment, but all the items are kind of in that very modern, minimal, tan, warm, whites and black and brown kind of aesthetic that's kind of in right now, at least it's the one I'm seeing. It's very different from my decor here at my parents' house, which as you can tell by my bed, I wanted to feel very glamorous. I wanted to feel very like I was at a spa or I was princess kind of vibe, but at my apartment in Nashville, I wanted it to be a lot more modern, more up to, up to trend, up to style, up to date, and I'm really happy with all the items that I picked out. So let's just go ahead and get started. I will have everything that I can linked below. These were a really cute find, I think. I haven't seen anyone post about these yet. And I think they're gonna be freaking adorable. So it's actually from the Magnolia Home Collection. We love Joanna Gaines, but they, or the Hearth and Hand with Magnolia. There are these two canisters, in medium and large. And I just think these are gonna look so cute either in my bathroom or to hold like Q-tips and cotton rounds um, and that kind of stuff, or put it on my desk. These, these would also look super cute in a kitchen to hold little kitchen supplies or like your salt and sugar flour kind of deal. But um, I'll do a close up so you guys can see the gorgeous detailing of these. They look so high end. All the stuff I bought, I think looks like I bought it from Pottery Barn, West Elm, CB2, all these expensive places, but it was all fairly affordable. Um, $10, $13. I think you have to buy them in a set because they're just cute. Oh, not part of the haul, but I did buy two of the next two Bridger Bridgerton's books, Bridgerton books, Benedict and then Penelope and Colin's story. I haven't started this one yet, I'm excited. The other big purchase I got from Target was actually a chair. I eyed this chair a few weeks ago and when I went into Target with my mom, she convinced me to buy it. And I, it really has those rounded corners, like the 60s modern look that is, again, very trendy right now. And I've been looking for a new desk chair because I currently don't love mine. Or I've been, I'm gonna rearrange my apartment room a little bit when I get back and hopefully find a place for this chair. Either as my desk chair or I would love a little reading nook to like read and do my devotions in. I don't know if, I really don't think my room has room for that. But we're gonna find that out when we go to Nashville. So subscribe and stay tuned because I will be doing like an apartment revamp, redecorating video once I get back to Nashville. Because here's the thing. Last year at this time, I was just moving into my first apartment. I will link all those videos here. And I spent a ton of money just on basic stuff. Dresser, desk, bed, kitchen stuff, couch. I was spending a lot of money just on the basics, but now this year, since I don't have to buy the basic, you know, furniture, bed frame, all that, I can spend money on these cute little decor and like actually get little things that I want. So I'm very excited for what my apartment's gonna look like this year, what my bedroom's gonna look like. And all right, now let's go to Home Goods. So I've made a couple trips to Home Goods, and I think I'm gonna make a couple more because I want to get some black, sleek looking candles and also some more coffee table books. And I hear that Home Goods has a lot of great ones on sale. I first got two new towels because I thought these looked gorgeous. I thought they looked like they were from Anthropology, and I only right now have some crusty white towels. So I got two of these gorgeous ones from Common Thread. They are again like a tan beige, but um, like a kind of like a a gray beige background and then with like this cream detailing on them. Oh, here's the details, the texturing. There we go. You can kind of see what it looks like. These are super soft and plush. I cannot wait to start using them. They were originally $14 each, but at home guys, I got them for $10 each, which still isn't that a lot for towels. Now that I'm thinking about it, no wonder I got to the checkout. I was like, how did I just spend $50. Then again, more bathroom organization. I've already started using this in my bathroom here. I just couldn't wait. It is this white, um, what is it? Ceramic. I love how it's like a matte white. I think it just looks very high end, very modern and sleek. It just says organizer, the collection. And it has a round one, which I've been putting my toothbrush and toothpaste in. And then a little rectangle for where I've been putting all my Curology products, like my three main skincare products fit perfectly in here. And even though I like seeing like a lot of products out on my counter because it makes me use them, 
I think it just can get a little bit too much. And so I am gonna try to simplify my bathroom space um, at my apartment as well and just display like the products I use every day and then have under sink organization for all my other products. So that will be what we tackle when I move back. But I've been loving this little organizer and they have some matching sets, but I just felt like I wanted the one and it was $10. This little picture frame that I thought was just beautiful. It's glass, it's gray with, anyway. I thought it'd be pretty just to have, you know, on my vanity or on my nightstand actually, which is like some photos of me and my family, me and my boyfriend. I just thought, again, it looked very high end and modern, like something you'd buy at Restoration Hardware is the vibe I got from this. Let's wrap her back up. So I also picked up this little bubble candle is what they're called from an Etsy shop. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. I bought them and I didn't even really want to, I don't want to burn it because it's just so cute. And I also saw a few other smaller ones on Etsy that I really want to get, but I will link the shop below. There's tons of them, but this one was free shipping. This was about $15. It does smell really good. So if I ever do decide to burn it, um, it'll smell nice, but it's just the cutest. I, I just want to put these like all over my apartment. For now, I'm gonna put it right here on my bedside table, my little canister. Oh, I think it's so cute. Um, then from Amazon, I got this LED, 3D LED, LED wall clock. It was a little pricey. I think it was about $50, um, but I'm gonna plug it in right now and make sure like it works and it's worth it. So if I wanted to return it, I should do it now. But it's just going to go up on my wall and plug in. I think it, this this is the bigger size. This is the 15 inch, I believe. and um, it also is supposed to tell the temp the time, the date, and maybe the temperature. I would rather it just tell the time, honestly, but I'm excited to put this above my desk. I think is where I'm gonna put this in my apartment, and I'm so excited because I think it's gonna look so cute and aesthetic. I might as well also talk about the new dining table and chairs that I got from Overstock, actually, about half a month ago. Um, and I went to my apartment a few weeks ago and I actually set them up. So I'll insert that footage here because it is super cute. And if you're looking for a new little dining area, dining set, or just cute chairs to have somewhere in your apartment or house, these chairs are so cute. And it was all pretty affordable as well. So I will insert that here. At the end of last semester, we decided we wanted a dining table to do work from, to sit at, to eat at, all the things. I obviously kept them wrapped. I put them together at home, but brought them here wrapped. And then I put together this part of the table at home. And then the top of the table is right there. And I just think it's gonna go perfect actually right here there's a lot of space right here which when you walk through it's kind of nice to have all the space but we were like there's literally so much space in this apartment between the living room and the kitchen that we could definitely add a little table here so that's what we're gonna do okay i'm gonna set it up and then i'll show you guys how it looks <laughs> for watching i hope you enjoyed this home decor haul if you liked any of this stuff again you can shop below in the description and let me know if i continue to shop if you want to see a part two or what apartment back to college videos you want to see i am going to do a apartment like refresh video apartment decorating and maybe an updated apartment tour as well so look out for those and i will see you guys in my next video bye peace out